In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to set up and use the hotspot function on your Android phone so that your phone will broadcast its own mini Wi-Fi hotspot, allowing you to use your phone's mobile data on any other device anywhere you go. Before you get started, this will use your phone's mobile data plan. So if you have a limited data allowance, you might want to be careful about how much you use this or you could end up getting charged extra on your next bill, depending on your plan. And some carriers and plans actually don't allow you to use a hotspot from your phone at all. So you'll need to make sure you're on a plan that allows that. But assuming your plan allows it and you have some data to spare, this is how you can actually set it up and use the hotspot on your phone. To get started, you'll need to open up the settings app on your phone. And unfortunately, the settings app will look a bit different depending on your brand of phone, basically. But Timmy has a Google Pixel and a Samsung phone both here. And Timmy's going to do this on both of them at the same time so you can see the differences. And hopefully, your phone will look fairly similar to one of these. Or if it is a bit different, hopefully, you can figure it out based on what buttons Timmy's tapping. But you need to tap on typically the top option at the settings up here. On the Pixel, it's called Network and Internet. On the Samsung, it's just called Connections. So I'll tap on that. And now we're in basically the same menu here. And on the Pixel, we'll need to find Hotspot and Tethering here. And on the Samsung, it's called Mobile Hotspot and Tethering. But just look for any menu option that's pretty similar to that. And now, on the Pixel here, we have Wi-Fi Hotspot. And on the Samsung, we have Mobile Hotspot. And there's actually a switch next to these here that will allow you to turn it on immediately. But before we go ahead and do that, we probably want to look into the settings and make sure everything's set up correctly. So we'll actually tap on the words Wi-Fi Hotspot or Mobile Hotspot, not tap on the switch, to bring up all these settings for the phone's hotspot. And now, this is where you can really configure all the settings for your phone's hotspot. So the name that it will broadcast, like the Wi-Fi network name and the Wi-Fi password to your phone's Wi-Fi hotspot, and a few other settings of how you want it to work. So on the pixel here, we see it says hotspot name. And the hotspot name will usually be a, a fairly default name, like Pixel 7 Pro, which is the name of the phone but you can actually tap on that and make it anything you want. You could leave it as just whatever is in there by default, but you might want to make it something more custom so you know that's definitely your phone's hotspot. And then when you're happy with it, you can tap OK. So now that will be your hotspot network name. And similarly on the Samsung down here, we have network name and we see the network name here. So we can leave that if we want to, or we can tap on it and change it a bit or change it entirely, do whatever, and then tap save to save that name. So that's the network name. But then more importantly, we also have the hotspot password. Because just like connecting to pretty much any other Wi-Fi network, when you try to connect another device to your phone's Wi-Fi hotspot, you will need to type in a password to connect. So you'll need to know that password. And here we can see on the pixel, it says hotspot password and then a bunch of dots. But we can tap on that here and then that will show us the current default password here. So you could just make a note of this or memorize this or something and use that as your hotspot password. Or if you prefer, you can delete what's in here and set your own password. It just has to be at least seven or eight characters or something but it's fairly simple. You just need, need to make sure the OK button lights up. So you just start typing your password, whatever you want the password to be. And then once the OK button is lit up, that means you have enough characters. So you can tap OK. And whatever you typed in there will be the password to the Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone. And similarly, on the Samsung, we have password here. And on the Samsung, we can actually just see the password straight away without having to tap on it. So once again, you could just remember this and use this if you want, or you can tap on it and make it something completely different and tap save there to save that. 
And that's really all the main settings, the important stuff. You now know the hotspot name and the password, but there are some other things you can look through if you want to. Like on the Pixel, we have turn off hotspot automatically. So that means if there are no other devices currently connected to your phone's hotspot, your phone will turn the hotspot off so it's not using battery because having making a hotspot will use a fair bit of your phone's battery. So you probably wanna keep that on, but if it's causing problems and annoying you and turning off when you wanted it to stay on, you can turn this setting off and then the hotspot will not turn off until you actually manually turn it off. And we also have speed and compatibility here. You probably wanna leave it at 2.4 and five gigahertz. You can choose six gigahertz, but there's a lot of devices that can't yet use six gigahertz. So you'd only be able to connect specific devices to your phone's hotspot. So 2.4 and five will be better to be able to connect any device you want. Over on the Samsung phone here, we can see we have band, which is this speed and compatibility thing basically. So if you tap on that, on the Samsung phone and probably some other phones, you actually have to choose between 2.4 and five gigahertz. So if that's the case, five gigahertz is a fair bit better. So you probably wanna use five gigahertz, but some older devices will not be able to use five gigahertz. So if you're connecting an old computer or tablet or something, and you can't see your phone's hotspot when you're trying to connect it, you might need to come in here and switch this to 2.4 gigahertz. So it's the older, slower Wi-Fi technology basically. And it won't be quite as good, but it will mean you can connect an older device if you have to. But to me, it's going to leave it on five. And if we tap advanced down here, there's some more settings. For example, turn off when no device connected. And on Samsung, you actually get to choose the time. So if there's no devices connected for five minutes or 20 minutes or something, then it will turn the hotspot off. That's quite good. We might leave it set to 20. And there's some other more advanced settings there, but really we can just go ahead and tap save here. And now we're really good to go. We're ready to turn on the hotspot on the phone. So you could of course just tap this big main switch up the top here in the settings app and that would turn it on but then you would have to come into the settings app and turn that on in this menu every time you wanna turn your hotspot on. So actually the easier way for normal use is to pull down from the top of the screen to bring up all your notifications and then pull down one more time to bring up all these icons like this. Again, it looks a bit different on different phones, but your phone should be pretty similar to one of these. And then somewhere in this menu of icons, you should find a hotspot or mobile hotspot button. And then you can just tap this button to turn your hotspot on or off whenever you need to. So we will tap this button on both of them and they will both turn their hotspots on. And now once it says on, or once the button is lit up like that, showing that it's on, your phone's hotspot is now on. And if we go back out here, up the top of the screen in this cluster of icons, there should also be a little icon in here showing you that the hotspot is on. Just if you're ever wondering if it's on or off, you can see there. And now you can really just connect any other device to that Wi-Fi network, just like connecting that device to any other Wi-Fi network, really. Timmy's going to be connecting this Chromebook to the phone's hotspot, just as a demonstration, but if you have any other device you want to connect, it's really a pretty similar process. If you're not sure how to connect your specific device to Wi-Fi, maybe search something like how to connect this device to Wi-Fi, and then you'll find a more specific tutorial on that, but it's really just connecting to Wi-Fi. So typically, typically you'll come into a Wi-Fi menu in the settings or something, and you'll see your list of available Wi-Fi networks. So we have Timmy's Pixel 7, which is the Pixel, and we have Samsung S21, which is the Samsung. So both of these hotspots are turned on and we can see them here. And Timmy might click on the Pixel to connect to that. And this is where we'll need to remember the Wi-Fi password we set, the hotspot password. For memory, the password on the Pixel was Timmy is cool. 
So we'll type that in here and click connect. And now the Chromebook is connected to the phone's hotspot. So now the Chromebook is able to use the internet from the phone, whether the phone has 4G or 5G or another Wi-Fi net connection or anything, whatever internet connection the phone has will now be available on the Chromebook. So we can go ahead and open Google Chrome or something and pull up a website and it will all load and work just like normal as long as the phone has decent phone reception. And now that the Chromebook has been connected to the phone's hotspot, it will remember it like any other Wi-Fi network. So if we quickly come in here and turn the hotspot off, we'll see the Chromebook will lose connection from the hotspot. Yep, there we go. So the hotspot has disappeared from the Chromebook and it's not connected because it's off. So it's just basically like you went away from that Wi-Fi network. But then if we turn the hotspot on again and give it a second for it to turn on and appear and connect, the Chromebook will automatically reconnect to the hotspot. There we go, it's already happened because it remembers the network name and password, just like when you connect to your home Wi-Fi and then you leave home and then you come back home and it reconnects automatically. But that's really all there is to it. Now, once you're done, you will probably want to turn your phone's hotspot off so you're not draining your phone's battery because if you have the hotspot on for a few hours, you really can use a fair bit of your phone's battery. So you probably want to turn it off whenever you can. So now that we're not using it anymore, we'll pull down from the top of the screen to bring up notifications, pull down again to bring up this menu, and then we'll just tap the hotspot button wherever it is in here to turn off the hotspot. And now the hotspot is turned off on both of these phones, just like normal. So it's not wasting the battery, but it is all still set up exactly how we set it up. So whenever you wanna use your phone's hotspot again, it's just a matter of coming into this menu and tapping that button and waiting a second or two for it to turn on, and then you'll be good to go. But that's all there is to this video. That's how you can use your phone's hotspot to access the internet through your phone on any other device and hopefully found it helpful and we'll see you in another one in the future. Thank you.